Hello and welcome to the Genetech AutoView Shootout video. My name is Chris and in the next couple of minutes I will be walking you through a series of tests where we will compare the AutoView Sharp X with the MLC engine versus another solution available on the market. We will be focusing on three key parameters which affect LPR performance. The first one is speed of read. As we drive down the street we have a very small window to read a license plate that is wedged between two parked cars. The second test is variety of plates. In any state, you will always have a variety of plates based on surrounding states, specialty interest plates, and of course, customized plates. And the last test will be obstructed plates. Whether it's recessed in a bumper or has a trailer hitch in front of it, very often plates will have an obstruction and we'll test how well those can be read. This is the test setup as well. And what we have here is both systems running on a laptop as it would in a vehicle connected to their respective control boxes. And uh, we've mirrored the screens on a big screen so we could see them a little better. And every time we flash a plate, um, they will both read simultaneously. And I'll give you an example of that right now as I wave to my colleague. He dropped the plate. And as you can see, both systems read the plate. All right, for the next test, we're gonna introduce a little bit of real life stress. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna drop a plate in here as you can see, it's a very clean, unobstructed California plate. We've designed this testing apparatus to drop the plate. And at the same time, we will see if both systems can read the plate in the very brief reading window that we have as the plate drops. I will drop it on the count of three. Three, two, one. As you can see, both systems were able to read the plate. For the next test, I'm going to introduce a new variable, variety of plate. I'm going to go back to the plate tester. And as you can see here, I have a standard California plate as I did before, but I've also introduced a California specialty plate. Now the idea is we're going to drop both of these as we did before and see how the systems will cope with a variety of plates versus a plate of the same type. On the count of three, I'm going to drop both plates. One two, three. As you can see, the Genetech system managed to capture and read both plates correctly. The competing system was only able to recognize one out of the two plates. Okay, so everything's set up now and ready to go with the LPR plate reading stress test. As you can see over here, we have a standard California plate with a simulated trailer hitch. Here we have a standard California plate that's partially obstructed. So the first character is a five, but you can't see the whole thing. And of course, we've kept the specialty plate to prove the variety aspect of this test. Now dropping this is really where we get to see the power of our new MLC engine. I'm gonna drop it and see if we can read, in fact, all three and see how our competitors do. Again, counting down from three. One, two, three. As you can see, we successfully read all three plates and they were read properly. The competitor system read only two out of the three plates and both of them were read incorrectly. Wow, that was an impressive set of tests that really demonstrated the power of our MLC engine. To understand why this performance is important to you, please refer to the link below. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to Genetech. Thank you.